Hi there, in today's video, this has happened to you often, that spinning wheel always shows up at the worst possible moment when you really need your Mac to move fast. Here are six quick fixes to make your Mac faster. No tax skills required. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Mac tips. It helps us bring you the best Mac content. Okay, think back to those times when you had a lot on your plate, errands, work, an ever-growing to-do list. You probably just wanted to slow down for a moment. Your Mac feels the same way. When too many apps, tabs, and background processes are running, it slows down to catch its breath. So here's the first quick fix. Find resource hungry processes. Some apps are more power hungry than others and can slow your Mac to a crawl. To see which apps are eating up your system resources, use Activity Monitor. To find it, open Finder, go to your Applications folder, Utilities, and then double-click Activity Monitor. If your Mac's running slowly, pay attention to the CPU section. It shows how processes affect CPU, aka processor activity. Apps that use most CPU power will be at the top of the list. Next, check out the Memory tab. It shows how much memory each app or process is using. At the bottom, you see a memory pressure graph. This gives you a quick snapshot of how well your Mac is handling memory. If it's green, it's good, but if it turns yellow or red, that means your Mac is running low on RAM. In that case, close the apps at the top of the list, especially the ones you're not actively using. Now here's a trick your Mac will thank you for. One thing that can seriously slow down your Mac is unneeded cache files. They're temporary bits of data meant to speed things up, but over time they build up and start taking way too much space. Instead of helping, they end up slowing your Mac down. The easiest way to clear them out? Try Clean My Mac. It finds and safely removes old cache files in just a few clicks, no digging through system folders required. If you want to give your Mac a real performance boost, Clean My Mac has a handy menu that lets you free up memory instantly. It's a simple way to optimize your Mac's performance and make sure things are running smoothly. Go to the description to start your 7-day free trial and try out all Clean My Mac features free of charge. Now, here's something a lot of people overlook. Startup items. These are apps like Chrome or Spotify that launch the moment your Mac boots up. And while it might seem convenient, they can quietly eat up processing power, making your Mac slow and unresponsive. To solve this, go to System Settings, General, click Login Items and Extensions, review the list of apps that open at Login, and turn off unneeded ones. Are you still here? Because we are about to reveal the quickest way to speed up your Mac. Closing browser tabs might sound too simple to matter, but you'd be surprised how much they can slow things down. Each open tab is like a mini app running in the background, using up RAM and other system resources. So close those unneeded tabs. If you want to come back to them later, just bookmark the pages or add them to your reading list. Want to take it a step further? In Safari, you can actually set tabs to close automatically after a certain time. Just go to Safari Settings, Tabs, Find Automatically Close Tabs, and choose a time frame like one week, one month, or whatever works for you. Also, if you're looking to free up more space on your Mac, we've got a full video that covers seven practical tips for clearing out clutter. Next, if you've recently updated your Mac OS, you might have noticed your Mac running slower than usual. That often happens because Spotlight is busy indexing your files in the background, and while it usually finishes in a few hours, sometimes the process gets stuck, slowing things down. Here's how to fix it by re-indexing Spotlight. Go to System Settings, Spotlight, click Search Privacy at the bottom, drag your disk such as Macintosh HD or a folder from Finder into the privacy list, wait a few seconds and then remove it by clicking the minus button. That'll force Spotlight to start fresh and your Mac should feel faster again. And last but not least, keeping your software up to date is one of the easiest ways to help your Mac run faster. To check your macOS version, click the Apple icon in the top left corner of the screen and select About This Mac. Make sure you're running the latest version available. And don't forget about your apps. Outdated apps can slow things down too. If updating them one by one sounds like a headache, try the Applications feature in Clean My Mac. It lets you update, uninstall, and manage all your apps in one place, which is super convenient if you have a lot of apps like I do. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Mac tips. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.